Hi, my name is Kathy Whitworth. Um, I played on the tour for uh, a few years and had some success. But, uh, and I think the reason I had that is because I had an excellent teacher in uh, Harvey Pennick. Uh, some of you may have heard about him and some of you may not, but uh, he was just terrific. And uh, he was a very big uh, believer in fundamentals. And when we first started, when I first started with him, uh, one of the things that we talked about the most was, of course, put my hands on the club and square blade or square club face. And uh, I'm always surprised at how many times people really don't know what square is. And I'm not going to get into the grip uh, because it is difficult and um, it is hard for people to change a grip. But one of the things that you can do that I've, I've been trying to uh, uh, talk to people about when I go travel around the country and do clinics and things is the Look at the bottom line of the club, not the top line. Uh, this never changes. There's always going to be a straight line here, whether it's offset or, or whatever uh, club you uh, happen to be using. So always look at that bottom line. And when I talk about square, anytime you put it on a straight line, it could be a club, it could be uh, on the driving range, those uh, uh, divider boards that they have, but anything that's got a straight line. And uh, when, if the if the toe goes in, that's closed. And if it, the, uh, it goes this way, then they call that open. So we're looking at the bottom line of the club and we're trying to put our hands on there so that when we put pressure on the hands uh, to pick the club up or take it back, this club face stays square. If you see that club, when you put your hands on there and that club starts to go this way, or it starts to go that way, start over. Because this is what hits the ball and directs the ball so we're trying really hard to get our hands on that club where this stays square at impact. And I just and a lot of good things will happen uh, if you can ever be able to do that. Uh, I know it'll be hard at first, but if you can just continue to do that, just start over and keep, until you get your hands on there, then that face. And, and look at this when you put your hands on there. Don't be looking at your hands because then you get here and the club face is, uh, you're not sure what is going on down there. So. Um, try to look at this and then put your hands. You can feel where your hands are on the club, however you want to grip it, and, uh, but just keep an eye here. And what that does, not only does that help uh, hit the ball more solid, it directs the ball, uh, and that is another big key is that now it's going to be uh, easier for you to line up. Because when you have a square blade, when you set that club down now, you set that uh, on that imaginary line that everybody talks about that goes straight back and straight through, and with your feet together, you set that club down square on that line, and then you just step out to that uh, club face. And that really pretty much tells you if you're square or open or closed, uh, and it just uh, does a lot of good things. You don't even have to think about it. So be sure that face is uh, square. And then when you step out, uh, don't get into your posture, though I have to say, don't get into your posture until you set the club on the ground. A lot of times people get into their posture before they ever set the club down and they're not really quite sure where they are. So just set that club down first on that straight line and then just let your feet go straight uh, on that line and then you'll be pretty square at, uh, at the very beginning. So it just stands the reason that if you can get that club face square in your hands, now when you put pressure uh, to take the club back, that face stays square and then you have a wonderful opportunity uh, to hit that ball straight and uh, solid and hopefully lower scores.